okay so uh, now we will create the vivado project for uh, this lab so open your vivado create a new project name it anything you want dna example make sure you select the right board for here zybo z710 then create a new block design design dma click on okay So uh, yeah, in this uh, design, click on the plus sign to add your IP. So first we'll add the Zinc processing system IP and we will configure it first. So, okay, as discussed, one, we will add the HP port, which will be used to access the DDI memory. And there is no change in peripheral IO pins or in any of these configurations, then move to interrupts part select this fabric interrupts and the pl to ps interrupt ports because your interrupt will be sent from your dma to your processor so it is pl to ps and select the first one and click on ok now uh, click this run block automation it will just make your ddr and fixed io ports as external for uh, external access at your uh, at your in, in your sdk now we will add our dma ip hi dma double click to configure this ip as well so first of all uncheck this enable scatter gather engine so uh, your dma can be used in scatter gather mode as well scatter gather means that uh, it can be used to read or write from non contiguous memory locations so we won't be using that so uh, un make sure you uncheck this the next thing is your maximum burst size just increase to 256 because we will be transmitting a lot of data in one go around uh, 128 values so just keep it at maximum and then click on ok now do the run connection automation select all automation here and then click on ok So yeah, so this is the block design that you get after your connection automation. So we'll just uh, see the quick review of the connection. So one is this DDR and fixed IO as external ports. Then there is your clock signal connection to all the clock ports of your interconnect and the reset signal and your DMA. Then you have this input reset signal from PS to your processor re system reset IP and which provides the reset signals for all the other blocks. Then the main thing that we need to see is that see this GP port uh, is this GP port as discussed will be used to uh, communicate the, uh, communicate to the DMA by the processor. So this is connected to the slave port of your AXA interconnect because you need to communicate between the PS and PL. So you will have an AXA interconnect here. So this GP port is connected to the slave port of AXA interconnect and its output master port is connected to the input uh, slave exa light of dma so this is the path for communication between the ps and your uh, dma for accessing your dma by the ps so the next thing is your connections for your ddi memory so okay yeah run connection automation again if this is available yeah so first one is your axi mm2s and your s2mm so these two ports are for accessing the ddi memory so these two pass through the uh, AXI interconnect first and this output is connected to your HP port. So here you can see that this HP port is used to access the DDI memory by these two ports of your DMA. Okay. So now we need to add FIFO IP as well. So we'll add uh, AXI stream data FIFO IP. This one. And yeah. So uh, its slave port will be connected to the master port of your DMA. So your DMA converts the input uh, data from DDR uh, to stream and passes to the FIFO. FIFO on the other hand provides this output data to your DMA. So this connection is made for that. And uh, next is for your clock signal. You can for clock and reset you can either use run connection automation or just manually uh, connect these. 
so this is for the clock and this is for your reset okay so yeah so now i'll show you if you wanted to use it in the interrupt mode then what connections you need to make so for that you have these two interrupts uh, output of your dma and one input interrupt port for uh, zinc processing system so you need to concatenate these two signals in one data block and then connect uh, and then connect that concatenated signal to this input port for uh, the interrupt of your zinc processing system ip so for that we have an inbuilt concat ip here so this ip will receive uh, inputs from these two uh, DMA interrupt ports and will provide to the interrupt port for zinc processing system IP. So uh, this is the entire block design that we'll be creating uh, in this lab. So just click on regenerate layout for a better view here and then in the address editor check if you have any unmapped slaved or excluded segment here if so then right click on that segment and uh, select this auto assign address or include segment if any. Otherwise, just validate your design to check for any warnings here or a missing connection maybe. So since there are no errors, we'll click on OK. Now expand your sources tab. Right click on your block design file and select create HDL wrapper. So this is the same process that we have followed till now. It just uh, creates the very log code for this block design that you have created here. So once your wrapper is created, just generate the bit stream and wait for it to complete. So once your bit stream is successfully completed, just click on cancel or if you want you can see the implemented design. Now go to file and then export hardware. So this time you have to include bitstream as well because you have this FIFO and DMA uh, these all, all blocks implemented in the PL part. So we, you will have your bitstream as well. So then click on OK and then launch your SDK. Uh, 